peace welcome back to my channel and just welcome welcome if you're new so today's video is just going to be on a pink eyeshadow look with a gold glitter liner and it's basically just a one shadow look literally just one eyeshadow so we're going to start off with the pink in the Juvia's Place Zulu palette that pink at the very bottom in the middle and I took a Real Techniques um I believe that's a crease blending brush and I just put that in my crease just to blend it out at the top areas and then after I blend it out I'm just going to take a like a shader brush or so to allow me to pack the shadow on on my lid to get more pigment and to just um cover up the concealer that I have on my lid also because if I don't cover it up I look a hot mess so that's what I'm doing I'm just taking that brush and I'm just filling in um, the pigment on my lid there is a disclaimer I forgot to show the part where I applied the gold liner and that actually is a liner it's a liquid eyeshadow from Nika K I got it out of my local beauty supply store and I took a liner brush and I just dipped it in and lined the very top of my black wing liner but for the wing liner, I just used the NYX Matte Black Wing Liner. And for mascara, I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics, the Superhero Mascara. I actually really like this mascara. I got a little small sample tube um, as a present from Alta for my birthday. And I really, really, really like this mascara. And so next I'm applying some lashes. I honestly cannot remember the name of the lashes at the moment. I know they're Kiss. And I want to say they're called Double Layer or Juicy Volume or something like that. 02 or 04. I don't know, y'all. So I'm just going to put it. I'm going to try to remember to put it in the description box. But I decided to just show my lashes on camera because I know some people um, aren't too familiar with putting lashes on. And I still kind of struggle with it in a sense. But mine is better than it used to be and i also want to say when you blow on lashes only do it when you're applying it to your own eye do not do that if you're putting lashes on someone else because that is like a lot of germs that you'll be putting near someone else's eyes from your mouth And with the false lashes, you just want to get them as close to your lash line as possible. I always start with sticking the middle down first. And then sometimes I do the inner corner first. And then I do the outer corner last. But next, on to foundation. I'm using the MAC Match Master Foundation in the color 9.0. Which is actually like really my perfect match. And I never really use a lot of foundation. Because I don't feel as though I need full coverage because I don't really have a lot of um, blemishes to cover up. And I just don't like my face feeling super heavy when I wear a lot of foundation. So I just did four little drops, just about one on the forehead, one on each side of the cheeks, and then one on my um, cupid's bow. So next is on to highlighting the typical forehead down the bridge of your nose, cupid's bow, and underneath both eyes and the chin. And I use the Ruby Kisses CNC concealer. I think it's one is rich beige and one is, I, I, I can't think of the other one. I just know one is rich beige. And one is a little bit lighter than the other, but they're both natural skin tone light colors. But I put the lighter and the darker color under my eye. And then for the chin, the cupid's bow, the nose, and the forehead, I used the darker color. Just because I wanted a more natural highlight there. And I'm taking my crayon cutie that I have that I got a while ago. I got the two in a pack for $6 from the crayon case, and I really do like them. And I find out that they're being discontinued because of the layers have been coming apart. But they do have a black one if you are interested on their website. 
and I really do like this sponge. I use this in my real technique sponge. And next, I'm taking my Nika K Calm, my Nika K Duo, and I use that to contour. I take the darker shade on an angled brush, and I use it to contour my cheekbones. And I also got this from my local beauty supply store. I've had this for a while, actually. And I'm going to contour my cheekbones, my jawline, um, the sides of my nose with the XX powder, and then also my forehead and near my temples. After I contoured, because I actually forgot to set my highlight like a fool, I was ending up setting my whole face with my black opal finishing powder. I believe that's the color deep, I want to say, or either dark. I know it's not the darkest shade that they had in my Walmart. It's the second to last shade. And I just took a powder brush and I just put that all over my face. And now my behind realized I didn't set my highlighted area, so I took my Maybelline Fit Me in the color medium and set all of the places that I highlight. And I don't actually like to put a lot of powder under my eyes because I have no much of dry skin. Plus, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like all that texture that's there. So I'm taking Pro Fusion, which is a brand I got from Ross when I used to work there. And this is the blush in the color Rosette. And I'm just putting it on the apples of my cheeks. And then after I do this, I believe I'm going to go into highlighting my cheekbones. Yes, I did. With the Maybelline Master Chrome in the color Molten Rose Gold, which I freaking love. And I'm just going to highlight the my cheekbones, the tip of my nose. Or well, not my cheekbones, but the high points of my cheeks, whichever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and then I always do like the bridge of my nose right there in between my eyes. And when you put on highlighter, it's important that you blend it out so that there's no harsh line. If there was ever like a dark light or something and there's a harsh line of demarcation, that's not cute. So sometimes you can do the brush up and down or side to side, or you can do it up and down and then blend the edges out with a sponge. Whichever is up to you, but it's just always important to blend that out. Blend the edges of the highlight out. And after I highlight, I'm going to spray my MAC Fix Plus all over my face. And after I do my MAC Fix Plus all over my face, I'm going to go into lips. And the lipstick that I'm using, that I'm going to use to outline my lips is the Tarte Lip Paint. is matte in the color Wannabe, which is a nice, gorgeous brown. And then in the center, I'm going to take the NYX corset and put it right in the center. And of course, you're going to see me blotting my lips a lot because I I do that to mix the colors in together. And after I do that, I have a Urban Decay lip topper in the color Fever where it adds these bluish sparkles on top of the lipstick. And after I do that, then I go on top of it with a coconut oil lip gloss that's in the beauty supply store for like a dollar or two and put that on the top and of course i'll pat my lips together again just to make sure everything is blended the way it needs to be and yes that is the finished look so i just want to thank you all for watching and coming to my channel and everything and i hope you continue to stay don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for coming by
Mwah.